Hi guys, this is Shelly with lovecreelaugh.blogspot.com. Um, I just got home from an all-day craft. It was about 12, 13 hours um, with some girlfriends of mine. And um, I came home to a package um, from craftysteals.com. Uh, the other day they had some basic, a basic gray package um, for their daily steel, and I ordered it. Um, because I love a, a basic gray stuff. So, let me just kind of go through that. So I opened it up and here's, um, what I got. So it's basically the, um, what is this line? Life of the Party line. Um, it came with the ribbon doilies. <clears throat> Layered stickers, pops, the little pinwheels, how cute are those? The epoxy stickers. And that's so cute. And then the decorative paper clips, the epoxy also. And then the die cut shapes, um, petals. They are mostly canvas and some paper, but they're all the ones I can see are mostly canvas. And I love canvas pieces. Here's a super cute. And then the glazed brads. And then the the little what size is a six by six paper pad. Uh, 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 this this line and this is perfect I ordered it mostly for the um, embellishments because I am in the process of doing some layouts um, for my my four-year-old Cooper's birthday um, layouts are coming up pretty soon so I picked those up because I have a um, one of the DCWV stacks that I think this will match pretty well the, the embellishments for this um, so since I've got, and I also got in the mail this past week my Martha Stewart punch from um, allscrapbooksteals.com I think it is. Um, I had ordered a while back and then they um, they didn't have this in stock so it came later. Um, let's see, is there anything else I bought? I don't think so. Um, so just going to quickly go over a couple of projects that I worked on today. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this two-page layout that I did using the Reminisce, what's the line? Reminisce Monsters line, I think it's called, Monsters. Well, here's some of the extra stickers I had. And then here's the big sticker. Here's a few of the papers that I had extras of. They're double-sided. And that's upside down. And a couple of those. And then like that. And they're super cute. So here's the two page layout I made um, tonight, today actually. It says Our Lil on this page, and then on this page it says Monsters. And I'm going to put pictures of my little four year old Cooper. Um, I don't know if you could see the whole. I'm not sure which way I need to go. There we go. Our little monster. So the first page, I basically just put one of the, you know, some of the, pap the pattern papers um, on there with, on a red sheet of basil. Let's see, it's um, blush red dark. And then the pattern paper is just here and there. Um, I'm going to put the, pop that sticker up. Our, that super big, cute monster. And then put our, that's um, some letter stickers. I think they are basic gray, maybe lime rookie. And then Lil here. And then that's just a blue um, Stampin' Up cardstock I've had forever um, on that one. 
And this is the second page, and this Monsters is um, some thickers. And then again with the pattern paper, here's one of the journal spots, and then this little monster popped up also. Super, super simple, super cute. And I like to pre-make layouts, and then just after, you know, whenever I just put pictures on them, and I find some that go well with it. So this next layout is, two-page layout actually, is from, I don't remember the line, let's see. This one's from Doodlebug Design, and I think it's called Safari, the Safari line. Um, here's one of the pa papers that I used. Um, so this is the ma the first page, and I put, you know, that's from the Cricut cut, from Creative Critter, and this little line. The paper had little monkeys on it too. Um, and then just did a photo mat, and then this is a pocket for journal, there's a little tag in there for journaling, and then I'm going to probably stick some other stuff in there. Um, so that's the first page, and then the second page says, let's hang out, um, and just two more photo mats, and that's pretty simple, pretty basic, so those are the four layouts I did today, um, and then I also wanted to show you my finished, um, little Christmas album, mini album that I made using the... October Afternoon um, Holiday Style Collection. Um, I got a bunch of the October Afternoon Santa Sacks, and if you want to see those haul videos, I did do videos um, back when I got them. Uh, and they are under the Scrappy Shelly YouTube name, which I put in my favorites under this YouTube name. Love Create Laugh is my blog. So I, um, I favorited, I put all my old videos on my favorites on this YouTube name. So, anyway, this is the line that I use for this particular book. What I use for this book is um, the the bags that I use are actually let's see, they're Starbucks bags, like you can see down here, the Starbucks, um, the like the muffins and cake pops and stuff that they put them in. So that's what these bags are. So this is the front cover. Um, basically, it's just some of the pattern paper from. The collection, uh, the hol October Afternoon Holiday Style Collection, a little paper doily from um, Hobby Lobby. They just kind of glimmered up with some um, what did it, Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, this is a chipboard piece from one of those little mini albums that they sell at the Dollar Spot in Michaels, the little tree. I just um, spritzed that up with the um, spruce spritz that came from October Afternoon in the Santa Sack. This is just a poinsettia that I've had forever. I don't even, I think I got it at Michael's forever ago. Um, it says Christmas time, and I used my little label maker to do that. Um, these buttons are from the October afternoon line. This little tinsel is actually an old Stampin' Up tinsel that I've had for a while. Just a ribbon from my stash. Um, and then one of the stickers from the collection. And I've got some ribbons and fibers and stuff. These little things came on a... I think I got them at Michael's, either that or they came on a package, I don't really remember. And then I got some little bobbles down here, I got a little jingle bell, a little thing that says joy, and then this one says blessed, I think. Um, so that's kind of what that cover looks like. And then each one of these has a, poc a pocket that has um, a tag, so that's this side of the tag, it's, you know, pretty big. So that's this side. And then here's page two, again with the collection, just pattern paper, one of the stickers, it's a journal spot um, sticker, and then just a ribbon from my stash. This little bling is from um, Michael's, also from my stash, had it forever. Um, here's the other side of that tag. And it's just pretty simple and basic right now because I'm not sure what, you know, once I get the pictures printed, if I'm going to do pr probably just the pictures and then embellish around the pictures and maybe do some journaling. And that's that page, and here's the, the opposite page. You see, that's the Starbucks bag. Here's the tag in this one, just pretty basic. Um, ivory cardstock with two. Those are from a Thickers package. It's super cute. <clears throat> I think it's called Tinsel. <clears throat> Love that. And then the little Santa's from the Chip and Stick from that the paper collection. Chip and Sticks. That also came in my. And the sack marks up afternoon. And then the punch, this little tab pull is one of the um, McGill punches for the little tab pulls. 
And then here's the back side. So you can see that that's just a, one of the little bags. This is just a little, you know, flat person journaling and pictures. A little um, clip on there. That's the ice skating paper from the line. And I put some eye rock on there. Here's this back side of that tag that we saw on the other side. It says Merry Christmas and Little Santa. On the bottom is some of the snowflake roll-ons from the collection. Pretty basic stuff. This side, um, it's just the pattern paper with some eye rock bling on there. Here's the tag on this side, just a basic green pattern. Really pretty. This is one of the Starbucks bags, just some of the pattern paper. Here's the opposite side of that tag. Also very simple, just gotta figure out what I'm gonna put on there. Next one's just one of those smaller doilies. I spritzed up with some of the um, Lindy Stamp Gang. Some little you know, garland that I've had in my stash forever and some of the October Afternoon buttons. Um, here's this tag. Just kind of glimmered it up. Shimmer Shimmer from the Lindy Stamp Gang. And then I'll do photo mats and some journal tags and stuff. Here's the back side of that one. Here's the pocket with this little border punch. And there's the bag. The opposite side of that tinsel. Here's some uh, Tim Holtz tissue tape and just another little cutout from the collection. Here's the tag on the back side of the one that was just glimmering this. Just some of the stickers from the line across the top and just one of the pattern papers. Super simple. This one's one of the pattern papers from the collection. Um, a that these two are from the flower stack in that collection, and this is from the ribbon um, assortment that come, came with that collection as well, the holiday style collection. And then this is the flip open little, you know, picture mats, photo mats. And then here's another big tag of poinsettias. Super pretty, very basic, simple. Not sure what I'm going to do with all those yet. I haven't put them in first. Oh, all right, it's been in my, my photo mat. Okay, so this page, oh, here we've got some more of those chipping sticks from that, um, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, thickers. I think they were called um, tinsel embellishment stickers. Another tag, basic, simple. Opposite side has a couple photo mats stuck in behind a little journal spot and some pom poms also from the collection. Another tag, real basic. And then the back page, which is the sheet of paper that is the Santa's list. I think it's just one of the cutest papers of the whole line. It has a little name, good, bad, address, so super cute. <coughs> and then another one of the little pattern papers with one of the chip and stick um, chipboard pieces on there. And that is my little Starbucks. Um, Yummy's Bag mini album. I hope you guys enjoyed that in my haul and my couple layouts I made today. I uh, hope you guys all have a, some time to um, get some crafting done in the next um, little while. And thanks for watching, guys.